Well, hello and good morning from Muddler King, Scotland. Um, yesterday I found a new bottle tip and some of the finds there were amazing. Um, we have a couple of stonewares which I always take. Um, absolutely beautifully made. A couple of little heads which I'm now going to use as stoppers. There you go. And there was also a little pork pie. Can you see it? Pork pie ink. So that was lovely to find. I found a complete kiln still and if you don't know the history of the uh, pottery in Kirkcaldy go and have a look at some of my videos um, on Methven Spongeware and Methven Transferware and of course the history of the Methven Pottery. Now we do find these toggle um, looking things on the beach as well. Loads and loads and loads and loads of them. They're a very common find. But it is quite rare to find a complete kiln still. So this is what you're seeing here. Um, so that was a nice find. There's also lots of bits of dolls, a particularly, particularly big ear there. And this one has 1909 on the back. Um, unfortunately no full dolls head that day. Um, a little man, little man's arm, and this terracotta bottom of a body, and there is some detailing at the waist. So that was quite an interesting little find. Um, we had some lovely pottery as well, which is pictorial, uh, women in conversation. There you go, and yes, little girl there. Um, and a woman and another woman and she seems to be rolling a barrel we had a tiny tiny seed bead um, turquoise and we had a dose of pipes now this one is particularly interesting because it says the workman on one side it's a bit beaten up but it still says the workman a stem and bow and on the back, which is interesting, if it would focus, um, we have the words... Well, I'm not quite sure I'm going to have to use my eyes for that, but it looks like Ferguson. So, let me just rest you on these ones while I look at that with my... Yeah. Extremely interesting. Right, I had to take it away and look at it, so here we go. It's actually a workman made by W. Richmond, and he was the, or his son was the last pipe maker in Dunfermline. So if you want to go um, to one of my other videos, you will see um, Clay Pipe History from Fife, um, which is where I was born and brought up. I'd just like to mention that. Um, and an interesting history it was too. So there you are, the workman made by Richmond uh, in Dunfermline. And he is one of many that have uh, the basic pattern of the workman pipe and... They stamped their names on the side. So there's a W. Richmond workman. Um, also, what we have here are loads of stems. Now, I particularly like these because they have local names on. Now, for instance, that one at the top says Lowry. And I know that he was a Kirkcaldy um, pipe maker. Two Dunfermlands. And on the other side of those, you will see the name Richmond. And I've put the little... W Richmond underneath so that you would know what's on the other side. Um, 
and on these we have another Kirkcaldy, so that will be Lowry, and here's a Cooper one, Cooper, I used to work in Cooper, I was a psychiatric nurse, um, registered, um, and I worked at a hospital there, so there, um, a little bit of nostalgia for me, Cooper, and that would be a Burton pipe, um, so Burton of Cooper, and if you go to Cooper Museum, you will also see a fantastic collection of his pipes. There's another Lowry, and I think that is another Dunfermline. It's getting harder to see. Um, yeah, another Dunfermline. So lots of local names, and it's for that reason I take um, these home. Um, and look up the history and there are amazing stories behind some of these pipes so I'm going to move swiftly on I'm just going to take a photograph of this because I think this might be a nice thumbnail there you go, we've taken two um, right up here, what have we got? well, this one was particularly interesting to me as a um, published local historian in Fife. Um, it's nice to see other people using some of my history uh, notes and notes from my books. It is always um, nice to see that. So this says McMaster Victoria House Kirkcaldy. Now McMaster um, and Victoria House have an interesting history. I'm not going to go into that now, but Victoria House is uh, worth a video in itself. So I will be doing that soon. Um, I may add a bit at the end of this, or I may just make a video all about Victoria House and the people who lived in it. Next to that, we have a very strange one I've never seen before. And I don't know what it says on it. I think it either says franchise pipe um, or can you see it? Can you see it? Um, and it's got this five pointed star. But there's nothing on the back. I thought with a five pointed star it might be um, something to do with the equivalent of the Masons for women, the Eastern Star. Um, because they have a ring that looks quite a bit like that. So there you go, that's that one. A knobbly pipe. A couple of the hands. Um, we'll also have down here or across here um, a couple of TWs. Oh, and there's George and on the other side is Alexandrina. A couple more um, of these. These are free gardener's pipes. I'll just turn these round so that you can see uh, what's on the back. I'm sure one of them has a little... Oh, oh there she goes. Uh, what or medal with me? It's the free gardener's uh, thistle pipe. So that's another one to add to the collection. I knew it was there. And this is another free gardener's. So there's lots of little pipes there. There you go, a different design again, and I'm sure that says Free Gardeners as well. Yes, it does. Um, now I'm just having a quick, there's a sort of partial uh, Royal Antediluvian Order of the Buffalo's Pipe. And there's another one that um, stood out to me on the day. Um, yeah, I think it was that one. So there he is, George. And on the back is Alex and Drina and she always looks terrible on them <laughs> um, and this one let's see what it is uh, there you go no idea coronation yeah we do coronation 1902 pipe but unfortunately he has a bit of rust staining there so there you are. So we've got a George and an uh, Bertie or Edward or one there. 
Um, a couple of hand pipes, they turn up absolutely everywhere. Um, a common pattern, a couple of hand pipes, and what else do we have? Oh yeah, a couple of really nice stoppers turned up. Uh, one was this green one. It's a beauty. Um, we'll pick it up and let's see if we can get the light to go through it for you. Yeah, it's a lovely green stopper. And beside that we have a little spoon. We have a blue stopper and we have a few of these. Uh, the usual sauce bottle. Some of them say gardens, some don't. Sauce bottle stoppers. And these are lovely when they come off the beach. Um, not so keen on them when they come out of the dump, but there you go, that one has the writing on. Um, I've got a little, sorry to say, um, dead rabbit. I think it's part of a hunting scene. I thought he's very deformed. Um, and obviously it's because he's dead. <laughs> but I have some... I've showed you that bit before. Uh, we have one lovely redhead in a bathing scene. Can you see her? And we also have the ubiquitous, which is a nice word. Um, well, now these are the two lovers and you can go and find out that history in one of my videos as well. did it a long, long time ago. Um, and a pagoda. And we have some sponge wear and we also have a piece of Weems wear which is very famous. Now for the pièce de résistance, and I was amazed that this turned up. Here it comes. It is one. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you'll know that I do love sponge wear and as the um, one of the local historians in this area, um, in Fife, um, I do like the Methven pottery history. Now, sponge wear, you all no doubt have um, heard of, if you've watched my videos, sponge wear from the Methven pottery. Um, lots of different designs, lots of different colours, but very rare to find pictorial pieces and this is one. Uh, it's a complete bow um, and it has grey birds on it. So I have a few of these now, the um, pictorial birds in all different colours. It is, it has a bit of a character to it now, um, obviously because it was found in a dump and it has three birds. Um, so lovely dump find, amazing, complete um, bowl, some cleaning still to do, but there you go, one lovely, one lovely spongeware pottery bowl with birds on, and I'm sure a few people would love to have that in their collection, um, it's in mine now, and I am very grateful, so thank you for watching, Thank you for listening and do subscribe, it's free, you just push the button and push the bell and uh, you will be subscribed and you'll get every notification of the things I find in my native county which is Fife in Scotland and no doubt you can tell from the accent I'm Scottish. So thank you very much, bye bye.